Vampires are able to achieve immortality by feeding off the blood of others. In real life, there's no such thing as vampires. Sure, there are vampire bats and parasites, but they're simply gaining sustenance from blood. They're still aging and will eventually die. Growing younger by draining the blood of others is just something in comic books and movies. Or is it? I'm Rusty Ward, and I want to suck your blood. Let me clarify, I don't need to suck it, I just need to stitch your skin together with mine so that our blood vessels grow together and our circulatory systems combine. This is called parabiosis, and it was first done in the 1950s with rats by a scientist named Hank McCoy. Excuse me, Clive McKay. Sometimes I get my fictional and non-fictional super scientists mixed up. McKay combined the circulatory system of an older rat with that of a younger rat, and what he found was the cartilage of the older rat became healthier and more youthful, but he didn't know why. In 2004, scientists at Stanford University decided to revive these experiments to find out exactly what was happening. When they combined the circulatory systems of old mice with those of young mice, they again observed that the old mice healed at the same rate the young mice did, but they also found that the young mice were growing prematurely old. What they discovered was the old mouse was stealing the young mouse's life force. Or a more technical explanation is that the old mouse was benefiting from compounds in the blood of the young mouse. The compounds woke up the stem cells in the old mice's bodies that were previously just hanging around and not being told what to do. It turns out as an organism gets older, it still has plenty of stem cells on hand to repair aging tissues, but it loses the ability to order these stem cells around. Scientists have even been able to isolate a single protein that seems largely responsible for stem cell commands. The protein is called GDF11, and when it was injected into older mice just by itself, it rejuvenated their hearts and skeletal muscles. They became stronger and had greater endurance. What parabiosis and GDF11 do isn't simply slow or stop aging, they turn back time, actively making mice younger. And the most amazing thing about this procedure is that its benefits aren't limited to cartilage and muscle. It also rejuvenates the brain. Studies have shown that parabiosis instigates the formation of new neurons and even new blood vessels in the brains of mice. Older mice that have undergone the procedure perform better in memory tests and have a sharper sense of smell. Scientists are eager to start human trials to find out if we'll benefit from young blood the same way mice do. If these studies prove fruitful, watch out because that's when the elderly will hunt us down in the streets like dogs. Our blood will be nothing more than another ingredient in their daily morning ritual of multivitamins and metamucil. This all-powerful gerontocracy will tighten its wrinkled grip around our throats, throw us in pens, and keep us alive solely as life-sustaining cattle. Or, scientists will isolate and reproduce the compounds necessary to rejuvenate tissues without parabiosis and will live happily ever after forever and ever. One of those two things will happen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more episodes, and if you want to find out more about how to live forever, check out some of these other videos on real immortality. And be sure to tell me what superpower you want.